All right, guys, we're gonna be making these African landscapes as our main project this month. They are small, but that's because they're really detailed and we wanna make sure that we do a good job. So if we did them really big, we might lose um, a little bit of interest. So we're doing them a little bit smaller, but they will take longer because they're so detailed, okay? So what you're gonna do first is today, we're just gonna do our background. We're not gonna do the silhouette part today, okay? And you're gonna get a paper that looks like this. It's got the sun. Now, I made your sun bigger in this one than in mine. That's why I make an example, okay? And that's because mine doesn't show up really once I get that silhouette on there. So, I made you a bigger sun. Okay, you're going to have markers um, for a sunset. We're going to use red, orange, yellow, and maybe some pink if you want to, okay? And you're going to have lots of different options of values of those markers, okay? So, I'm going to show you the technique with the red and the orange that I want you guys to use for your um, background, okay? So, there's lots of different values of reds and oranges here, right? You can see there's like a yellow orange and a dark orange and a bright orange bright red dark kind of a maroon red light red okay so you want to use a lighter value so let's say i wanted to do these two values for my red area okay then the lighter one would be the one that i start with and what we're going to do on this to make it look nice and neat is we're not going to go back and forth and color it with marker. Do you guys see how I have these really nice different values in there, but they're almost like straight lines of values, okay? The way that you can do that with a marker is you just color straight across every time you color something. Okay, so then I'm going to line this up right here and I'm gonna pull it straight across. And if you end up with a white spot, you'll get better at it. I don't do this all the time when I color either. And it works best with newer markers, so that's why we have lots of markers. I've got bags of markers here. Okay, so you see how that works? And then if you end up with a white spot, you just kinda of come back in and do that area. And that's okay. But it's gonna look nice and neat. It's almost like if you were painting it, and your brush stroke matched every time. That's kind of the goal we're looking for here. A nice, smooth, even. The tone or shade won't be perfectly even because where it overlaps, you're gonna have different shades. But even that would be good for a sunset because in a sunset, you get different shades of the same value. Now there's my red section, okay? Now in this one I did red, and then orange, and then pink, and then yellow. And then you'll do your sun. I kinda don't like how I did my sun with the red in it. I would've just done the yellow and the orange, okay? But I'm gonna show you that in this one. What, you can do it anyway. I might do on this one, I think I'm gonna do red, pink, orange, and then yellow, okay? So, you're gonna do each section solid like this with your lighter value underneath because we're gonna do a darker value on top for our designs, okay? So when I do my pink, this is a lighter pink. Come across, oops, look, it went diagonal. That's okay, you're just gonna come in and fill in that section all in the same direction. It's a really cool way to color. It's a really cool technique that I've learned before and just have never taught you guys. And I think it's really cool. Okay, so you're gonna do each of these sections like this and then you're gonna fill in your sun. I would fill it in like yellow and then do just a ring or two of the lighter orange like this one around it okay but do that and then i'll come back and show you how to do your pattern okay actually before you do the sun let me just show you when i did it i colored it like a rainbow um yellow doesn't really show up as much and i had some erase marks on my paper which you won't have so it's balling up in some places but I kind of did it exactly the same, but I colored it like a rainbow like this. And then where I have these little overhangs, I'm gonna come back with some oranges and do this. But again, I have some erase marks right there and it's kind of complicating things for me. You should not have this because I'm just gonna photocopy these designs for you, okay? All right, so once you're done with that, we're gonna show you, this is what it looks like in the background. You have these lines and stripes. And once you're done with that, we're gonna show you the pattern. Okay, so now you're gonna have these pattern designs. 
You have some on the side and some on the side. These are African pattern designs, okay? Africa, in Africa, one of the traditional crafts is um, they make different kinds of cloths like kente cloth or dinkra and they use these kinds of patterns which would have symbolism to them they use specific patterns for specific things okay we're not really going into the symbolism we're just using they're very geometric which means they have kind of hard lines and hard angles there's not as many circles although there are some circles okay so you're going to look at these and kind of decide what patterns you want to use so I did some really simple patterns in here, okay? But you have to use a different value of marker. So on this red, I'm gonna use this kind of mulberry color. If I had used the lightest red, this darker red right here might have worked, but I used this red. So I'm gonna come back with this red. So you just have to find something darker, okay? And I'm gonna do, for this one, I'm not gonna do any of these really complex ones. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with these triangles right here. So all I have to do is draw my triangles. There's one, there's one, there's one. And you see how it shows up? The reason we're not using black for this is because we're gonna do a black silhouette on top of it. And then the black would, background would interfere with the black silhouette down here next week, okay? Now this has two more triangles inside of it and then another triangle and a dot. I think I'm just gonna do the one triangle and then I'm gonna do this triangle with the little dot and I might repeat the dot inside of this one too. You can kind of change it up. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. Okay, so then I would finish that out. For pink, there might be a darker pink. Like I've got this pink, I use this pink, I've got this pink. This will probably show up on top of this. But if there's not, you could always use red on the pink. That's what I did on this one. I used a red, okay, that'll work. And on this one, since I did triangles here, I'm not gonna do triangles there. Um, I might do these little rainbows right here. So I'm gonna draw a rainbow like this, and it's all with the same marker. We're not changing markers. And then on this one, I'm gonna draw a little rainbow like this. I kind of like how it's like straight lines, curved lines. And then I'll do straight lines here and maybe some circles or something here. Okay, and you could leave it like that or this rainbow pattern has some really cool um, designs in it. So I might come back and do little dots around it. Okay, so I'm not done with either of these, but as you can see, that's how that's gonna work, okay? If you're not sure what color to use, you can ask Miss Caitlin or myself, depending on what class you're in. If you're not sure about a pattern or if you need some help starting it, raise your hand and ask, but we're gonna use a darker value so that it shows up, but so that it's also not super high contrast, okay? All right, I can't wait to see these. When you're done, they're gonna look really cool.